Hey guys, so um, let's preface this by saying I have no idea what I'm doing um, in regards to the video, that is. And you'll get why I said that shortly. Probably will have to cut out some parts of this because I'm just going to talk. I have a lot to say. I probably can't put everything in the final video. But um, here goes. So today is October 2nd. It is eight days before I plan to propose to Zara. In a crazy world, I'm a god girl. That's who I'll be from the top of my head. This has been an interesting journey, I'll be honest with you, and I figure she would have wanted me to share some of this. And I can imagine she's excited to, 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 to hear some of this herself. So Z, I know you're watching this at some point, and I hope you're as excited to hear about it as I am to tell you about it. So it is eight days before the actual day and I am nervous, maybe eight out of ten. I mean, I don't get very nervous very easily, but you know, kind of nervous. Not that I don't think that Zara is going to say yes, because you know, we've had conversations about the future, we've, we've had these kinds of talks before, so I kind of know that, you know, she wants to spend the rest of her life with me. But that doesn't make it any less nerve-wracking, I guess. Um, perhaps the most nerve-wracking portion of this whole experience was asking for the blessings of like her mother. Hey, my Z bear, my sweet pie, my honey bunch, my little princess. Wow, I love you, baby girl. I just love you so much. You know that. Our relationship is kind of different. It's different from most mother-daughter relationships. Yes. We talk about everything. We talk about anything at any time. I'm not so Zara Marie, you have blossomed into a beautiful young lady. You have done some things in your life or most things in your life that make me a very, very proud mother. I am so proud of how sensible you are, how conscious you are in the decisions that you make. I tell you, girl, sometimes I walk as proud as a peacock. Today, as you wet your foot, your two little feet into womanhood, this is your little introduction. I just wish for your happiness. I wish for your joy. I just want to congratulate you as you begin the plans for your adult life. It's no more, mommy, what, how should I do this? And mommy, what should I do this? No, <clears throat> it's somebody else. But well, guess what? Mommy will still be in the background sometimes ready and waiting to help both of you. I am just here thanking God for the day he decided to give you to me for me to mold you, guide you for his purpose. Congratulations, my Z bear. Congratulations, my baby, my teddy bear. Her godfather of my people. Zara, it's certainly a pleasure meeting you and spending time in your presence. Your passion for life, your steadfast focus on what is truly important, and your currency of time and interest invested in the relationship is admirable. My dear church girl, I gotta let you know that you rock. You make virtual dating the new normal. It even rivals a trip to the mama and papa restaurant for an Indian cuisine. May God bless and keep you both always. May your wishes all come true. May you always do for each other and let God and others do for you. Love you both, my XYZ. Zandre E. Zara. Hi, Zara Marie. Henry. We welcome you to our family. It is so great to have you. You're always pleasant, always professional, 
Even on the day of your engagement, when you were crying, you cried professionally. And we love that. Continue to be the person you've always been. Caring, charming, very industrious. So we're glad to have you, Z. Continue to strive and soar for higher height. And you know, just, just having these adulting conversations, I can't tell you it's been easy. It's been a very enlightening experience though because you know you really learn a lot about yourself when you're faced with having to have these conversations with people you realize that you're probably not as emotional matter as you thought you were because these things still make you very nervous but i i did it i had those conversations you know when i was talking to her godfather uncle winston i know you're watching this at some point my z marie oh my god you warm my heart you bring me so much joy I am so happy for you and Zandre taking this major step in life. I wish you all nothing but happiness, love, prosperity. I'm here, we are here to support you guys in any way and in every way you guys would like. We love you word without end. My darling Z Marie, because you are my Z Marie. And just looking back, you were ordained to be in our lives because your mom and I got pregnant together the first time around. We lost our babies together the first time around. And God placed it again that we both got pregnant again the second time around, just months apart. So God had a hand in you being in our lives. It has been a pleasure for us to watch you grow from that little girl into the young woman that you are today. And we wish you God's richest blessings. Congratulations to you and Zandre for taking this momentous step. It's a big step, but I feel that you guys are ready for that step. And I wish you all the best, both of you all the best. God's richest blessings. Love you. Love you. Yo, I, I don't know. Going into the conversation, I didn't know what to expect. I was just like hoping for the best. <laughs> I said, "All right, God, you know, you said this is the move that we need to make at this point in life. So, you know, work this out for me." And guys, when I tell you that the experience has just been amazing, you know, just to know that I had his support, and then Uncle Winston just started to tell me all these good things, and I just, I just felt so loved, so appreciated. And I felt so much support for this move, you know, I'm just I'm just so excited I'm, as a matter of fact while I'm talking to you right now I just got a message from Zara's mom She's sending me some contacts for some persons I had requested so I can send them the zoom link so that they can join us Zara Marie Henry On this special occasion, I want to say you have been a disciplined Christian Christ minded young lady from the first day as I we met you continue to excel and on this your special day I want to say congratulations enjoy the day and I know that God will bless this union abundantly keep sweet be that Christian person that you are and I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health Zara and Zandri, this must be one of the happiest days in my life. I am still excited, just so excited for want of a better word, elated, just so happy. I don't know if I should skip, jump, run, just a hug, scream, all the emotions in one. You know that little song, I feel like running, skipping, jumping, praise the Lord. That is what is echoing in my mind right now. And since I heard on today is Wednesday since Monday I just want to because I'm short of words and I'm trying to you know be civil and I'm trying hard 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 to control you know just so that the words can come out but I just want to thank the Lord for you both I just want to say hearty hearty congratulations from the depths of my heart I am I thank God I've lived to see this day I'm alive and I just praise him for you both. It has been a journey. And just thank you for making me a part of this journey. I just want to wish you God's richest, richest blessings. 
hearty, hearty congratulations. One, two, one, two, three, four. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hi, Zara. <laughs> Congratulations, Z. Congrats. What more can we say that we have not already said? You know that we love you wholeheartedly and we are most ecstatic that you and Zon have decided to take next week. Woo! Mm -hmm. yeah. You know we're here for you, girl. I'm here for you. He's here for Zon. I'm here for you. We're and here for you. I know you have a great... One. One. Please be sure that you're ready. Please. It's not this. It's Zon and Zara's been ready there. <laughs> We're sure you made the right decision and we support you 100%. Hey wifey, just want to say congratulations to you Zara on your engagement. I'm so happy for you girl, you deserve this so much. I know that you're going to be a gorgeous bride and an amazing wife. And so I'm wishing you and your future husband a lifetime of happiness and peace and joy in your union. Love you. Hey Zara Marie, fiance, I must say my bad. I just want to say congratulations to you, my love. Um, God has truly been on your side. God has really truly been in your union. And I'm just so happy that I also got to see this union up close and just to know that this is genuine, real love and it doesn't get better than this. Like you two were literally made for each other and I know that you'll be an incredible wife because you are great at anything that you do so from the bottom of my heart my sister that I love so much congratulations and may God continue to guide you protect you and keep you as you embark on this new journey that life has to offer love you loads hey Zara by the time you're seeing this you are already engaged and we have done our fear of laughing and crying well I have done the crying <laughs> I'm so happy for you friend I'm so happy that I can call you my friend and I'm so happy that I can call you my sister your growth has been tremendous your growth as a human being and your growth as a woman it has been truly inspiring you will be a being beautiful bride girl and you will be an amazing amazing wife you are blessed you are highly favored and i wish nothing but the best for you and your future husband anyway you know it has just been a a really amazing experience to have these conversations and just see how many persons are really behind us supporting us you know, just knowing that you have the blessings of the people who are around you, who you really care about and who, who you know care about you and the direction that you're heading is really just a heartwarming experience. Alright, so we're eight days out and we have an interesting plan. In fact, it's called the master plan. We even have a Google Drive. Alright, you can scroll down a little bit. Scroll down to right before we get to this. So we can pass all of this. So we're at October 2nd, obviously. We have the master plan in there and we have a whole planning committee. Sarah! Yes, boo boo, you're all back on a bag of chips and guess what? You're now a whole fiance! Yes, Sandra's fiance, new title and all these things. Yes, yes, yes. So, I just want to tell you congratulations. It's been a long time coming, we've discussed this. We've gone through the timeline and everything and it's now here. And I'm so, 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 so very happy for you. So very happy for both of you. And I pray that as you enter this new phase, this new journey, all the lessons that you would have been learning and acquiring over the years and continue to practice, that you will continue to learn and continue to put into practice even as you transition into a new phase. And yeah, you know, bear love and bear blessings. I know you have no clue about all the planning that's going on right now. I know you have no clue about what people been doing to get you ready for your big day. But you're gonna be like become a whole fiance on the weekend and I'm super excited for you. Listen, 
You have my last name, you bear the signature of quality and excellence while having fun. And that's one of the things that I like about working with you, about watching you work, about how you've grown up and come up, and the way that you help people. And for me personally, I just wanted to leave a few words of encouragement for the years ahead. I love you. I think you, I treat you like my sister, like uh, I would, because not just the namesake, you look like we, you know, we have a lot in common already. And I find that you are putting the right energy out into the world to help other young women find their way, to help them become settled and stable in a real way in their walk with God. And honestly, I rate that, I respect that. And now that I know that you and Andre are going to spend your life together in an actual official commitment, I'm super happy about that. I want you to know that God is with you and you cannot fail because God is at the helm of everything. You guys have learned to balance different times and to give each other space and to work through the distance and all the challenges and I don't know, I just respect that, right? So you have my encouragement, you have my support, my God did it for make sure I capture all the moments and everything else, at least for the engagement. And you know, it's 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 my little gift to you guys and I just really hope that Whatever else happens, however else it goes, you continue to blaze the trail that you have as a young woman, as a lawyer, as a social um, consultant, as a business consultant, and a social engineer, and, and social media influencer, and all the other things where you got at your portfolio down the road. Hi, Zara. <laughs> so if you're watching this, congratulations. So very happy that I got to be a part of the scheming and the lying <laughs> and the deceit is to make sure that you would have the most amazing moment ever with Zandre. So very excited for all the things that are about to come for your life. I love you. I'm praying for you. And I can't wait for everything that life has in store for you. Hi, Z. Hi, it's Sarah. us. It's me. Well, clearly you can see it's us, but you know. Um, so, we're making a video. And by the time you see this, you know, we'll be all joyous celebration everything, you know. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, my love. <laughs> yes. It's so nice being um, in the know because y'all were in the know for me. And so I love this for me. Congratulations. I absolutely love this, not just for you, but also for Zan. I have observed the growth and the transitions and just the accumulation of love that you guys have. I love being a little fly on the wall observing the love scenes and I love being a little, you know, a little, what we can I say? A little speck in the seat behind observing <laughs> the dialogue going on in the front seat. Mm -hmm. I just love this for me and I love this for you guys and I love this for us. My seat, my glad them letting it in. Yes. <laughs> it's about to break free because mm -hmm. shortly <laughs> you both will be legal. <laughs> Hi Zara. I'm so happy to be here and to finally be able to say congratulations on being engaged. I am happy that you said yes. And as you prepare to take this next step, I pray that God will continue to bless you, that he will help you to grow in all the ways that he wants you to grow, help you to be that wife to Zandre that you need to be for God and for him. And that, you know, regardless of everything else around you, no matter what is happening, that you'll only get stronger and your love for Zandre will deepen and your commitment to Christ get even stronger. I can't wait to see what this journey will be like but i know that regardless of whatever circumstance it will be a blessed one congratulations love you hey my fame welcome to this new chapter of your life i know you have been praying about this moment manifesting it for quite some time now and so i'm just so 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 happy that it's finally here i'm so happy that you and zon have decided to take that new step you know a bold move to continue your life together under the lord's watch of course i'm so happy to have been able to witness your journey from way back when till now and you know i'll always be by your side supporting you throughout this whole thing you make such a beautiful bride and such a beautiful wife 
so so proud of you my girl you're no longer zima it's zima i'm not okay because you put a ring on it hi guys just want to say congrats um zara will run congrats darling i wish you all the best on this new journey all the peace all the joy that could come from it um I hope it meets your expectations. And I'm interested in Zon to hear. My one and only brother. But I know you'll take good care of him. So wish you all the best on this new journey. And congrats again. Because tomorrow is the 3rd of October. And Zara thinks I'm getting on a flight and going back to the US. I sent her my original itinerary. Which has my flight for tomorrow the 3rd. Yeah, I'm not taking that flight. I actually changed my flight even from before I reached Jamaica this last time. And I'm actually going back later than next week, but she doesn't know that. So I, I'll have at least one week in Jamaica where she doesn't know that I'm in Jamaica. I brought on my sheets from the US to change the sheets on my bed so that when I video call her, she thinks I'm still in, in the US. And pastor, if you're watching this, you know, don't write me out of church. I'm not a chronic liar, I promise you. I just, you know, I, you know. She'll know, it's just, we're just delaying the truth for a week, you know, but she'll know that I'm still in Jamaica and Z, I promise you, this is the first and last time I'm going to tell you this lie, okay, or any lies. I mean, yeah, I'm, but this time you have to kind of think I'm in the US. Alright, so we are going to be going up to a place up in the mountains to have worship next week, Sabbath, and Zara is going to get there through a whole conniving scheme with her friends who are going to be telling her that they're going for a little picnic and then more people going to get added to the, the party as you go on and, and then when she gets there she's going to see us and her family, friends and then a lot of persons will be joining via Zoom because she always said that she wants to know that she has the support of the people who mean a lot to her and even though a lot of persons can't come in person because you know COVID and like flights and you know life um, but a lot of persons will be able to join us via Zoom and certainly the people who mean the most to her will definitely be there. And um, yeah, and I'm nervous. In fact, I have a meeting with the, the planning committee in like less than an hour. And we're going to be fleshing out some details so that we can, we can get, you know, can get the ball rolling for this week. I, I, I'm like super excited. So nervous might have been 8 out of 10, but excitement is like 20 out of 10. 100%, 120%. Um, I'm super excited, you know. And like, I'm not going to tell you that from time to time I don't go and, and just take out the ring and look at it. Because I, I kind of do that. I just take out the ring and look at it sometimes. I, I don't know why. I'm, I'm a little weird. But I'm just super excited because Zara has been such an amazing, amazing help in my life in terms of my spiritual and, um, and emotional growth. She has just been such a supporting pillar and I'm super, super grateful for that. So for the, for the prospect of having that support for the rest of my life, you know, I'm super excited. And um, I guess at this point I'm just rambling because I have so much to say. I'm not sure exactly how to package it, but what I'll probably do is I'll give you a snippet every day from today up until the actual day so you can you know be on this journey with me I guess somehow Zara has converted me to a okay maybe not quite converted me to a blogger 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 video yeah um yeah but I figure she would appreciate something like this so so here goes all right so it's October 3rd and you might recall that today is the day that my flight supposedly left and safely arrived in the US. I'm actually getting ready to go to bed now but you might recall that those curtains are the same ones that you saw in the video yesterday when I was supposedly in Jamaica and that is because I'm still in Jamaica but Zara thinks that I'm in the US now. I'm trying to pull it off I don't know if I can you know keep it up for a whole week but I tried my best. Um, I actually changed the sheets on my bed today to the sheets that I normally have on my bed in the US so that way she when I video call her shortly she will see the sheets on my bed and think that they're the sheets well they are the same sheets but you get the point I'm making right she'll think that I'm still in I'm in the US now so hopefully that works um, also last night when we had that meeting 
I found out, Alison told me that she actually really wanted to get her nails done, as in Zara really wanted to get her nails done before the, um, the, the, the proposal. So I am trying to get a friend of mine who has a sister who owns a spa to give us a gift voucher that is going to expire on Wednesday of this week and then to get Golda to go with her to the spa um, to use the gift voucher before it expires. Obviously, you know, the gift voucher don't even make it. So, but we want it to expire this week so that she can, you know, she can actually go and do her nails. So, fingers crossed, that will work out well. And, um, yeah, we just press on with the planning and so on. Everything is coming together nicely so far. I think she has, you know, been biting the bait. I don't think she thinks that I'm still in Jamaica. So we're after a good start and I'll get you up to speed tomorrow. Oh, and another thing, guys. Um, I had to block her because I'm still in Jamaica and I don't want her to, whether she's trying something or she accidentally calls my phone straight, I can't have it ringing because then she realized that my phone is still on and in Jamaica. So I had to block her number. That was like the weirdest thing ever. Actually blocking her. Felt kind of wrong, but I guess the end justifies the means. I mean, I lying to her all week, so. I hope, I hope that the ends, the end will justify the means. Trust me, I really hope you guys pull this off. Me too, like if we pull this off. No clue. If we pull this off? You have days to go? Yeah. And it's just like any small slip anywhere. Like my biggest thing is like Zandre going places because Zandre is in America. And like right. we can't tell everybody who knows Zara. Don't message Zara and say, oh I saw Zandre today. Right. It's like keeping him away from, you know, people and things. Do you? Because I realize what's going on, you come out from open door. We are in a in a puppy kind of up. So we get through so we go on from Gordon Road to Anton. But when you come around after you pass tavern, we're going to open your left hand side of here. Hi bro, heading up to you now. Alright. Alright, cool, cool. Yes. Alright, so we're going to the Anton Road Tavern. Alright, so we're going to the Anton Road Tavern. Alright, so we're going to the Let me flip my camera. I flip my camera. So Zara, I should have been vlogging. But I never catch how so you come out and cry. Come open door for me. And all these things. So that's what I wanted to catch and I didn't catch. Because yes. I didn't even realize it was happening. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, and I'm good life here. I'm all lives still in Yeah, and I'm good life here. That's the life. And like aperture that, and all the So we're currently going up to so, um, Hollywood yeah. Science. Like and I'm so excited! I'm so excited! <laughs> yes, Ashley. <laughs> yeah, Ashley. See, see the recording start. Right. Yeah, the recording start. Well, I don't edit all the parts here. Yeah. Jump in, jump in, jump in, Zadre. I am, I am present. Present am I? Yeah. Alright. Pauses. Yeah guys, a vlog about for start, road trip, don't know what today is all about asking God for his blessing so we can deceive Zara. <laughs> <laughs> Work very hard at this, so I could pray. Lord, thank you for today, thank you for this chance to head up there. <laughs> where, where, what will be, who will be doing what? I know Ashley will crying. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So, to answer your question, you mm. in terms of the logistics. So, when Ashley them come, I want them to go underneath that tree there. So, right where that table is, somewhere underneath there, so is where they would come and set up. Uh, right? Uh -huh. Reason being, it gives when they're down there, it gives us space. To come on the top there. Right where the actual proposal will take place is right here at the top of the steps now it was my intention to have flowers in the picture <laughs> lots of flowers, lots of flowers. Uh, but um 
as it stands, we instead have a, 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 a fern theme. <laughs> yeah. And this one. you have that nice fern in the background, it'll be fun. The walk of see you, the I, symbolism I'm speaking of it. as one who has never seen the flowers. But. And this morning I was posting how much I missed the Blue Mountain and, need, and I needed to be outside in the bush and the mountains and get some fog. And here I am, thanks to Zondre, site visiting outside up in the hills in the mountain, cool air and fog, getting all excited and wondering how we're going to keep this a secret from Zara. Well, or to not get her suspicious on the drive up. But, yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> No space on memory card. Screams! <laughs> I need another photographer. I love this crew. This is the best. I am not crying, but I am crying somewhere inside. I'm gonna go over into this corner now. Right are you videoing me? <laughs> Hi Ash. Hi. Oh wait, you're not focused on you. Sorry. I can't touch on this thing. Camera. <laughs> okay. This is right. going to be, if you pull this off, the most beautiful thing. Wait, you have to say that again. Okay. <laughs> is that record? Okay, sure. <laughs> It's recording as far as me concerned. If we pull this out, this is going to be the most beautiful thing we've ever done in our entire lives. Come on, keep it to show Zara. Where are we going? Hold on. When you try for another drop over there, so. That met us. Okay, so today is the 5th and I am supposed to be in New Jersey, gone on the road with my mother, but instead I am in the mountains up by the site, doing the site visit and um, I kind of did have to just tell Zara that my mommy is going to go up on the road, so I'm not too sure what she thinks I'm doing right now, but obviously I'm not doing that. Um, but yeah, oh, we just finished talking to the, the people at the spa to try to set up the, um, the what do you call it? The Mani Pedi Polygel thing right yeah so the much i work that out should have that ready for thursday evening so that golda and zara can go there and do them um foot and and, and nails and yeah things, yeah, things. Uh, from, this, from this angle this is for sure the after proposal picture and this is just actually doing everything. what ashley does yeah, it's everything. That's what Ashley does. So you guys are going to be yeah. up on the top and then uh -huh. after proposal picture right here. Oh, this view. Look at your bouquet. Yes. And then this <laughs> air is what, what I love. love. Oh glory. Oh, oh, are the one posing up? Are the one shirt to the shirt I like to pose the two. So we had a close call. A very, very close call. Today's what date? The sixth? Seventh? Today's the seventh of October. Thursday before the Sabbath and Zara called me on video call I'm in Clarendon by the way and wants to see me because she misses me because she hasn't seen me all I'm a sister I'm a sister and you guys oh yeah no first she messages me to say that she wants to talk oh right yeah. sorry I'm, I'm sorry I just holy about things are going on right she messages me to say that she wants to talk. I tell her I'm talking to mommy, which is true. Because I was talking to mommy on the phone. She thought I was talking to mommy in person. She asked me if I could step away to talk for a quick second. I said, sure, just give me a quick second. I'll step away. I had to go to the bathroom because you hear the dogs barking outside. I don't have dogs in the US, so obviously, you know. Honestly, if the dogs had barked and like I could hear them from the bathroom, that's exactly that, that would have been the story. Yes, 
Yasmin dog. Yasmin dog. Or Yasmin soap she be. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got to the bathroom, but I had to turn off the light because Zara called me and then switched to video call. So I had to turn off the light and then stand up in the bathroom and and I turn on and turn on the light and turn on the um turn on the video and she said, Why the place is dark? I'm say um because obviously that bathroom here don't look like the bathroom in the US. So I'm gonna get catch. So she said she wanna see me because she hasn't seen me all week. All week I calling her when I in the dark and you know she so she said, Alright, um so I, I go and we change the sheet on Zandy bed. <laughs> I'm gonna lie down across the bed and turn on one night light because the overhead light would have been too bright. Should I really pick up Santa's room? Look, I should know what the room look like overseas. But then it's too too dark, so I have to use a chair to prop up the night light so that it could have come look closer. And when I call Zara, Zara goes, um, I say I want to see and you're still in the dark. Why the place is so dark? So I had to tell her that you know, you know, I always turn on my night light. I don't really do you know bright lights after dinner in the nights. And she was like. Um, okay, I just miss you, that's all. I just want to see you so we can talk. We haven't spoken all week. And I go, okay, alright, sure, no problem. I'm going to go turn on the light and come. And then same time, my phone battery thing came up to say that the phone um, only had 5% left. So then, I go, um, Z, my phone battery about to die. I actually did plug it in because it did dead just a while ago. That's why I took so long to call you back. But then apparently the charger not working, so I'm going to find the next charger. Nothing was plugged in. So I have to go find the next charge. She said, alright, since you have to go through all of that, it's fine, it's fine. You can come back at bedtime. So I said, okay, alright, cool. But I mean, I know she's not like okay, because she missed me and she wants us to talk. But boy, too much is at stake. It's a, it's a small price to pay. Oh, so you see for the tomorrow night? No, I told her in that conversation that I might be traveling to Maryland tomorrow. So that way, if I can't talk tomorrow night, she will notice because I'm with my cousins and we're doing things and stuff like that. So I have to buy an excuse for at least tomorrow night, you know, because if I'm still here in, here in New Jersey, then she, you know, she's going to really be wondering what's up, why I keep on dodging her every night. So apparently I'm traveling to Maryland tomorrow. Thank you. Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> I see. All right, so it's October 8th. It's the night before the big day. And I am presumably on my way from New York, heading to Maryland. Um, where am I now? I think I'm supposed to be Delaware or Virginia or something like that. I don't remember how the story go, but right now, I think I'm in Delaware right now. But anyway, I should reach um, Maryland by about eight o'clock this evening, I believe. And um, yeah. That's that's what Zara thinks at least. That's that's a story I gave her because I need a reason to you know not have to talk to her on video call tonight because you know we've come this close can't afford to blow the cover tonight and you know I'm actually in Kingston and the sheet don't look anything like the one in Clarendon looked last night so there's no way she's going to think that you know I'm still in my bed so I had to give her a story but. Let's see how it goes tomorrow morning. Nervous? I mean, maybe like a 9 out of 10. Nervous. Anxious? Maybe like a 15 out of 10. Anxious at this point. But um, it'll be alright. It'll be alright. <laughs> Hi guys! Morning guys! Happy Sabbath! Hold on. Turn off a little fun. Morning guys, happy Sabbath. This is me coming again with another Sabbath vlog. Today I'm actually going on the road. It's kind of lean. Voila. Today we're doing the mountains. We're going to try the mountains again. For those who know, we tried it already. Upper Hollywood did full. So this week I'm heading to the mountains with Norville and Ashley and Monique. Well, Norville and Monique and Ashley. <laughs> um, so if you're interested in this type of Sabbath vlog, even though I don't watch my face anymore and I have my time in my eye, if you're interested in this type of Sabbath vlog, keep on watching. Hey guys, so here's the outfit of the day. I'm going to put on shoes with this, of course. I'm pretty sure I'm overdressed for the mountains, but I do have an explanation. So as I was saying before, I know that I'm a little overdressed for the mountains, but I'm going to wear my Crocs. And you know, this week I was really feeling down. I had a little panic attack and mental breakdown this week. And 
my mother was like fix up yourself man feel good about yourself so this is just a part of me fixing up myself and yeah so my friends are outside waiting on me and i can't let them wait no longer so <laughs> let's go yeah. Or you want Ali to come here? Yeah, I'll come there. You want to come here to Ali? Yeah. Alright, so you go, you can stay. There's a weed um, queue right in the middle there, so that you can see what I'm going from there. So, and then you, Alice, will come here, so. so. Alright, so. We can start that turn in the corner. You think we must run through? You think so? I think so. A dry run? You know, just to come so. down from some place, come up, you know. Yeah, I feel like we need it. <laughs> Hello, Ashley, say hi to the vlog. Listen to me. Of course, I do social media Hello. for all of you, on behalf of all of you. Hi, Vlad. How are you? Let me miss the tour. There's more to it, you know. There's a whole lookout point. That's really up. Oh, I love your dress, Mo. Thank you. It's cute. Good old swirl. <laughs> you want to say anything for the vlog? Hi people, my regular face. This is my real face. <laughs> this is my real face. Alright, so that's Alison. Alright guys, they're about less than 10 minutes out and um, we're up at our little hiding spot where we can oversee where they're coming. And um, yeah, we're nervous. <laughs> but we're going to hold it, you know? She's soon rich. <laughs> what is a hope, Gardens? What is a <laughs> What is that? What is that? A, <laughs> a garden struggling in the dry yellow. Oh my gosh, look on that leaf. I want one of those plants. I've been wanting one of those in my. You guys, see. Let's see. You can pray to start because we did actually kind of cuss God on the way up. Like, God, what may I go? What may I do? Just <laughs> me on, and I don't feel like that's appropriate for me. What is that cussing for? Because you know how my anxiety is, and I wasn't too sure how this was going to go. <laughs> Remember, right foot, left foot. Right foot, left foot. Come on, babe. Come on. You're okay, babe. You're okay. I have something for you. Come for you. What am I doing here? I and I've been absent all week. I've been dodging all your calls. Because we may have something to give you. I brought flowers to apologize because I've been dodging all your calls 
and I'm sorry. Sorry for dodging your calls all week. And I guess now is a good time to tell you that I'm not in Maryland. Probably that I didn't go to New Jersey on Sunday. I've been in Jamaica all along. <laughs> I've been in Jamaica. I hope you accept these roses as an apology for disappearing all week. And for telling me a million different lies, because <laughs> it's been a lot of lies all week. But I brought flowers to apologize. Will you accept my apology? Yes. 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 Is yes your default answer? Because I have an next question to ask you. And I'm hoping that the answer will be yes as well. Baby girl, will you marry me? Of course. <laughs> Can I borrow your finger? <laughs> wow, you guys are good. <laughs> wow. You did good. <laughs> You're welcome, you're welcome. You guys! <laughs> it's pretty. Is it? Yeah. You like it? It's a little bit. I hope you like it. We actually. Man, man, it's so. You guys. Okay? So, yeah, it's 
get our minds back in the frame of mind for for the worship service we're going to do a, a blanket toss worship song oh my Maybe. gosh that's exciting this blanket is going to start a song we all sing it then we're going to go to the fiancés the gold azard zandis the a1 day ones the camera people creating me a clean heart and purify me Purify me, create in me a clean heart, so I may worship you. Made a way. Better. When our backs were against the walls, and it looks as if it was over you. With your power, perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible, and we're standing here only because you made okay, a replay for now. Mountains, you cause walls, you cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles, there is nothing that's impossible, and we're standing here. And we'll begin. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will shew thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. So, the theme for our short worship service for this mm -hmm. afternoon is Just Jim. Say Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How fitting. <laughs> Just Say Yes. Pun intended. So, um, as we know, obviously, Zandre asked a question. <laughs> And obviously, or we would not still be here. <laughs> Zara, <laughs> still be here. Zara said yes to this question, but she didn't just say yes to the, will you marry me? She said yes to the, will you spend your life with me? She said yes to the, will you move when I move? Will you go where I go? Will your family become my family and my family become your family? Will you, you know, a bag of things. It's a bag of things she said yes to. And the parallel that, um, well, I say we, me and Cecilia, but that I have been drawing. <laughs> um, oh, so that's the conversation that you and Cecilia are having last Leave night? it alone. That, that, oh, yeah. that, I'll be, that, that we're drawing from this circumstance that just happened is that when God tells us to say yes to his directions, we don't always get the backstory about what we're saying yes to. 
We don't mm. always get the full, okay, this is what you're going to do once you say yes. You're going to move here and then five years later, I'm going to give you this, but then don't worry because 10 years later, you're going to get, like, we don't get the whole backstory. Much like Abraham, all we get is move. move. Yeah. And all God expects of us is, is yes. Yeah. Adore you. Hope of a life spent with you. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely. All together worthy, all together wonderful to me. I never know how much it costs to see my sins upon. Hi, Zon. <laughs> So I know that you think that we're doing all of this and putting all this effort into helping you because we love Zara and trust me, we do. We love her immensely. But I can honestly say that we wouldn't be doing this if we didn't love you too. If we didn't think that you were the right person for her. You are an amazing human, a man of God. <laughs> and you just, I've just always loved watching you grow and shine for Christ and I can't wait to see the kind of husband you're going to be. I already know that if that part of your life is anything like the life you've already lived, then God is going to be reflected through all of it. Zandre, Zandre, Zandre. You know I say I found a long time I have your back. I'm so, 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 so proud of you. I have found you to be grounded, focused and manly about the things that need to get done and this is you taking the next step congratulations <laughs> so i know you know about the video for zara but of course in fine ashley style how can there not be a video for naturally you? so like literally this you know this one you like done what can i say like remember when you was a, a young youth you know let's you know you look know, for life when you say I don't know if I'm going to get my life right now, 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 and after that, I go, you know, find my wife, I'm going to set you up. Look at you now, degreed up, wifed up. Can I tell you? But like, I am so happy, you know, like, we're just, we're just happy. I'm not going to lie, Zandra, you see when you tell me to go do the thing, I just have to sit down, a good five minutes and just cry. Me? Nobody not happy like me. Me happy, me feel like I'm here I get proposed to. <laughs> like, me just happy like I'm so happy for you guys because I know that the journey has not always been perfect um, in, you know, learning each other and developing into your own individuals. And I'm so proud of where you guys are now and what better story than to actually highlight that it didn't always come from an easy place. But wait! There's more. Now, there's this person who likes camouflage or a white t-shirt and sweatpants, even in a lecture theater and in fly planes too, and he likes to cut people open. Well, he steals hearts. Well, he stole a particular Congratulations, Zan. Congratulations, Zan. I just want to say big up, you know. Man to man, mano y mano, that's what I'm saying in Spanish. Mm. That's hard to hand. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, big up yourself, bro. Um, you know, I see you go up on the mountain top this time and you, you didn't let this one slip by you. So, good job. That's all I need to say. Anyways, I made the famous roast fish where you teach me and I'm going to eat it. So, we just want to say we're proud of you and we got your back excited to be a part of the journey and we're definitely 100% in support of this move. 
I have been referring to you as my son from way back when. I don't know if you remember that Sabbath you you did a sermon for children's convention at Camp Verley. You were about 10 years old. But that sermon got to me. As a little boy, you represented Jesus Christ so well. And guess what? I started calling you my second child from then. My son. That was when. Now, after I realized that you were at Glenmuir, during the time Zara was there, I said to her, Zara, you remember that little lad who preached at the children's convention? Uh, uh, she said, yes, mommy. He's at our school. Mommy, he's a teacher's pet. Every day, he walk up and down with clipboard like him a teacher. Then I'm a bossy boy, so I said to her, you know what? You're going to leave my son alone. You know what I would ask of you? Just say hi. Get to know him. She said, Mommy, I spoke to him once, you know. I was, he's a cadet. So I was inviting him to join our Pathfinder um, parade. The drill team. Because I know we needed help and I know he could help. But he, he just behaved as if he couldn't come down to so low because he, he was always so high. Can't stand him. And look at them now. Congratulations, Zan. Hi, Zan. Congratulations on your engagement. <laughs> so I want to say to you, I am super proud. I'm very happy. I'm confident that you won't disappoint in any way. It will be a happy journey for you. I, I really hope it will be a happy journey for you. But separate and apart from that, I just came by to remind you that you're still going to be little brother. And to my son, um, flesh of my flesh. Sorry, um, that's for the girl. Uh, bone of my bones. <laughs> yes, on. Always a pleasure being around you. You're my party. And I love that. I remember one day you said to me, Daddy, even when I get married, I'm still going to come in church and bounce head with you. So looking forward to that, son. Whenever and after that day has been, we wish you both God's richest blessing. Hi, my XYZ's, <laughs> ex for Zandre, Y for and, E in Spanish, and Z for Zara. XYZ. Zondre, my son, I know this day will come and I'm proud of you for growing into a mature and God-serving young man. I commend you for taking the step to becoming engaged and I'm ecstatic for you. You are a remarkable young man and I'm thankful that God bestowed on me this blessing that is to be your mom. Thank you for bringing such a beautiful and sweet lady, Zara, into our lives. I know that you will be an amazing husband and hopefully a father someday. Oh, God, you love me.